Wave. Hi, welcome to Grandma's Storytime. I'm here again today with Jeremiah and Karina. And I said, it's time to learn a little bit about the solar system. Have you kids ever looked up in the sky at night or even during the day? Did you know there's other planets besides Earth that we live on? There are. And just like, did you know the Earth is spinning? I didn't really know that either because I don't actually feel it spinning, but it is. And this is going to tell you a little bit about our planets. The book is called Eight Spinning Planets. It's not a real long book, but it's full of lots of good information. So let's go all the way from Mercury to Neptune and see what we can find out. Can you, this is a nice book too, if, if you ever get a chance to get it. You've got the planets popping their heads through. So can you see that okay, Tim? Mm -hmm. Okay. Eight spinning planets travel around the sun and Mercury is the closest one. So here's the sun over here and the closest one, whoops, is Mercury right here. Mercury is a rocky planet without any air with the sun so close by, it's very hot there. So the first planet is Mercury. The next closest to the sun is this one, Venus. Seven spinning planets around the sun they go. Here is beautiful Venus with its yellow glow. Covered with clouds that trap the sun's rays, Venus is like a desert. It's hot and dry every day. And the next planet is, do you know what this one here is? Earth. Do you know who lives on Earth? Yes, Jeremiah and Karina, all of us live on Earth. Six spinning planets in outer space they is roam. This? Oh, I think that's, I don't know, maybe Jupiter. So it kind of looks like that one. Six spinning planets around the space they roam. Next comes bright blue Earth, the place we call our home. Earth is filled with water, food, animals, and air, and it's the perfect world for all of us to share. Five spinning planets in space overhead. You can tell which one is Mars because it's is that a black red. Hole? Is that a black hole? Maybe, I think so, but look, see this one here? Mars is the red planet. Mars has mountain ranges that rise up very high, and Mars doesn't have, you know how we have one moon? Mars has two moons that orbit in its sky. And Jeremiah, this is a picture of some of the mountains that are actually on Mars. It looks just kind of flat, but it's got that real high mountains on it. And next we get to Jupiter. Jupiter is a really cool planet. Here's a picture of it right there. Four spinning planets floating with the stars make way for Jupiter. It is really large. It is the biggest planet and rotates awfully fast with one great big red spot Jupiter is made out of gas. Can you see the red spot on it here? Mm -hmm. And it's made out of gas. And next we get to Saturn. Three spinning planets, such incredible things. Look, there is Saturn with all of its pretty rings. The rings circle Saturn and reflect the sunlight. They are made of icy rocks that glow nice and bright. So when you see the rings on Saturn, did you know that was made out of rocks that are ice? Wow. And then Uranus. Two spinning planets deep in space they glide. Look at Uranus. It lays on its side. Uranus is made of gas just like Jupiter. The planet and its rings just look like one big blur. Here's a close-up of Uranus. It's just full of greenish blue gas. I love that color though. Don't you think Uranus is a beautiful color? What's that? Aw, uh, that's one of the stars in the sky. Mm. 
and mix Neptune. One spinning planet, Neptune is cold, cloudy, and blue. If you were that way far away from the sun, you would be cold too. We have counted all the planets circling the sun and that leaves only Pluto, which is now considered too little to be one. And that's the name of our planets. That's all for today. Just a short little lesson on planets. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.